Aries, welcome to your WLC, Weekly Love Connections Reading. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love connections. To all my subscribers, thank you for your continued support and if you're new to my channel, welcome. Also check out my weekly and monthly readings as well as um, the every Monday reading I do for all signs. It's called Gypsy Monday Nights Tarot. So I read for um, from pa from Aries down to Pisces and anything about the person in your mind. Okay? And so you can go and check those out as well. Those are done weekly. Yeah? All right, Aries. Let's get on with your reading. What do we have for Aries in love? This will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. In love. Three of Wands. The Ten of Cups. Six of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Six of Wands. The Eight of Swords. Okay. Ace of Cups, Six of Cups, and the Four of Cups. Aries, are you dealing with cups here? Dealing with a, with a um, water sign, yeah? Could be Pisces, Scorpio, could even be that, and Cancer. All right, let's see. But regardless of the sign... Let's read your cards. At the bottom of the deck, we have the um, Nine of Wands. Mm -hmm. For some of you, you are dealing with someone with really strong uh, Pisces in their chart. Or that could be your energy as well. Or cusp between Aquarius and Pisces. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Let's draw more cards here to give us more insights. Aries, I feel that you have been waiting for, for something good to happen your way. This could be about your job, about your um, like personal activities. yeah. But in the dating scene, I feel that you're waiting for someone to come back, waiting for someone to reciprocate to you yeah, in terms of what you give them. If you give them care, love, you're actually waiting for that person to revert back to you. If you're wanting communication, you're waiting for that person to communicate back to you as well. Yeah. Feels like this connection you have has was off for a good start. Yeah, when both of you are pretty much kind of invested in the beginning. There seem to have been a, you know, there's, there's this sense of um, two people wanting stability, wanting to build a life together, wanting to be with someone um, that they can spend the rest of their lives with. Yeah? And I feel that your chemistry, yeah, the chemistry that you may have built with one another seem to be pretty good. Yeah? But it feels like someone here may have a um, distributed sort of energy yeah they may be communicating with you um, putting attention into this connection but it also appears like this person may have been you know opening up to other types of connections yeah for some this is likely that somebody is is open you know dating openly Right? Or still searching out for a partner that they want to have in their life. Somebody who is not still... They want commitment. They want um, stability. They want to build a life together with someone. And they like you. They have passion for you. But it appears like this person has their energy towards someone or something else as well. Yeah. It could also be that they have somebody... Uh, from their past that they are still pretty much connected with yeah the tower justice 
and the devil. Mm. We have temperance, the hanged man or hanged woman, and the moon. The bottom of the deck, we have the empress. Yeah, I do see that both parties here are really wanting to, <clears throat> really wanting to build something together. Yeah, for some of you, you are connecting with someone who is still tied to their past lover or past relationship. And when you come in, it feels like this is it for you, right? But this person um, seemed to be seem to be not focused on this connection right now fully, right? And I feel that you may have sensed that. Possibly you even started breadcrumbing this person or you know you're also matching the energy that um, they're putting in yeah you don't really initiate as much as before and i feel that if they reach out to you you will respond in in that level yeah nothing more nothing less you could have pulled away from this person i feel too for some of you, if it is not about another party, if it is not about this person having distributed type of energy, right? This could also be related to um, some form of insecurity that this person may have, yeah? The, re the reason why both of you are not able to um, really lock this down is because somebody is a little bit insecure, is a little bit insecure. You could be getting a lot of attention or you could be doing well in the endeavor that you're, you're doing or focusing on. And this person may feel like, a, this person may feel like they, you know, they may not be good enough for you. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. And no matter how much they try to show up day by day to show you that they're there to be more relevant in your life there is always this feeling that they have you know that they may not be good enough that at some point when you get to be very successful in life you will just leave them behind and there is no way that they could actually hold on to you yeah that's what i'm getting too but no matter the reason for this, right, for, for you to be, like, staying away from this person, I feel that, um, I feel that your main reason for staying away as well is that you feel like this is not your fault, yeah? I, I do think so, too. I feel that this is not your fault. Sometimes the, the insecurities of everyone has insecurities, so you're actually letting this person address theirs yeah without much interference on your end yeah? because you feel like you know this is not good this is not this type of insecurities the excessive thinking excessive jealousy perhaps for some um jealousy of the status for instance that's not really healthy at all yeah that's not really healthy i'm also getting that for some of you you may have your eye on a Libra. You may have your eye on a Libra. And it feels like you are changing. So this Libra could be your mother, could be your um, counselor, or whatever this is. But it feels like there is something about this person that you are, that you are desiring, yeah? And, or probably even obsessing about it doesn't have to be romantic but there's something about a certain person in your life right now or a cert certain person that you've known I feel this is a distant type of person you might not even know this person um, on a personal level but there is something about them that shines that you are kind of interested in knowing more right and that may cause a sudden change in in your own demeanor. Yeah. 
but it feels like it, that is something of a warning because it may become an obsession may not be healthy for you yeah it seems that the message here is maintain your own balance yeah on what what you're good at yeah and that go for what is go for what makes you happy rather than um, perhaps aligning your life towards someone or imitating this person and this could be a separate energy yeah this could be somebody from your work I'm getting this person is a very good-natured person yeah. I feel they have this sense of groundedness in them and they may not even know you yeah but well with regards to the person that you are actually dealing with or thinking about romantically if you are distant from them right now I do feel that there is still this desire yeah from you or from them or even from both parties to actually revive you know the connection yeah. this person may feel like there is no one else that they want more than you and I feel like this person is really missing you a lot yeah, they may not be talking to you but they miss you and even if they may have people around them right now it seems like their energy is still trapped in the past in that moment where both of you were together mm -hmm. you know what this situation has the tendency to or has that potential for growth yeah has that potential for growth if only both parties can see beyond um, beyond the now right if only both parties can let go of insecurities or another person here can actually learn to acknowledge the other person in the way that they feel acknowledged in right also I'm getting it's very prominent that there is another Libra that is in your that is within your your I don't know if it's vicinity or it could just be somebody's um, presence yeah whether it's a physical presence or I don't know online if you're talking but this person really is gonna has this Empress type of energy and that probably is um, causing you to ma to be magnetized by this person's energy right but this is another person I'm getting two people very prominent in your life right now at least their energy towards you right one is missing you still wanting to be with you but it feels like you are distance from one another distant from one another and the other one is it feels like this is someone that you are hoping to be or hoping hoping to become it could be a mother I feel or a counselor or even a professor something like that and you can see that this person's groundedness is really a good uh, is good energy that could really help you might not know this person but this person is a very there is this empress energy in them they're very stable they know how to go along with their own life no matter how busy they are even if they are uh, managing an empire they can still uh, sit pretty and uh, lovely yeah in every moment okay that's what I feel all right let's get you more cards Aries what else do we have here okay we have um, the faithful friend the plumped horse yeah if this Libra person or whoever this is that you are um, looking up to in however ways yeah if this person can become your friend right this can totally totally transform you into something better yeah. now we have the Medusa's head um, the Spectre oh wow and the swallow the bottom of the deck we have the finger post card of direction okay whilst the other person that you have in mind I feel that this is a person who is trying to do a bit uh, more of um, 
self preservation right now if they are not reaching out to you it is because they feel that that is the right thing to do yeah because being vulnerable will make them feel like they're weak right and all they can do right now is just to think about the good things the good past that you had the good things that you have done together in the past all right but I do feel that they are still wanting to find some form of continuity yeah, in this connection with you. Yeah. And I'm, I'm seeing that in the next eight days, there is this possibility that this person would start to um, be more involved yeah, in perhaps even in this connection. That means that if they are staying away from you as well, if they feel like there's no easy way to to reach out, to say sorry, to be open or to be vulnerable towards you, that might change. Yeah, that might change in the next um, eight days. And it feels like it will give this connection another direction to go. All right. Because somehow you have a connection with this person. Yeah. It's a card of connection you, you have at the bottom of the direction card. So there is a connection here. It's just that it needs a little bit more watering. Okay? That's all I see about your connection for this week. But there is a very pertinent um, energy that you are either focusing on or that it's an energy that if it is around you or if you can be with this person be it as a friend or something else whatever that is it could actually give some form of transformation yeah which could eventually give you more returns in life whether it be um love popularity money and all that there is this sense that there is a driving force here for libra to give that to you I'm going to leave it at that and let me know if this uh, resonates in the comment section below and don't forget to hit like and subscribe.